Top story at five, an Arizona state senator facing a judge a short time ago following his arrest. Tony Navarrete charged with seven felonies all connected to child sex crimes. Our Zach Crenshaw joining us live now with the disturbing new details. Zach? Yeah, state senator was our state senator Tony Navarrete was a rising star in the Democratic Party. He was on committees and he championed causes in the community. But right now he's locked up in a cell accused of molesting a young boy behind closed doors. State Senator Tony Navarrete. We all are going to hopefully work to make efforts to really bring our state back to unity. Was someone with a bright future in politics. He's in the community a lot. He's definitely a community advocate. But Phoenix police say personally, he had some dark secrets. Due to the nature of charges, the defendant is facing, upon conviction, a mandatory minimum sentence of 49 years. The 35-year-old Democrat charged with seven felonies including five counts of sexual conduct with a minor and child molestation. He should have no contact with minors, absolutely, whether in his family, out of his family, strangers. Yeah, they know him. They know him very well. Bree Marshall and her five kids live next door to Navarrete for years. Definitely concerning because, like I said, that's not the Tony that I know. In court docs, police say a teenage boy disclosed Wednesday that Navarrete repeatedly molested him over the course of roughly three years. The details are too graphic to share. But on Thursday, the boy called Navarrete and asked the senator why he touched him inappropriately. Detectives were recording. They wrote Navarrete was apologetic, saying, quote, I'm sorry, and telling the victim he was not well, and also that he had to live with these actions the rest of his life. It's unclear if Navarrete will ever address the Senate again. But in an interview about DCS two months ago, Navarrete talked about... And making sure that those kids, wherever they are, are receiving the proper care that is trauma-informed, that is child-centered, so that they can heal and recover from that traumatic experience. And guys, the condemnation has been swift. About 30 minutes ago, the Arizona House and Senate Democrats releasing a joint statement calling on Senator Navarrete's resignation. They said in part, quote, abuse of this kind is intolerable and our hearts go out to the victims. He should do the right thing for all involved and immediately resign. We'll stay on top of this story. But Katie, just a tragic situation. Zach, thank you.